Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm getting into the Christmas spirit and I'm having a play around with some new stamps that I received from my BB Craft order. Now since the release of my Cozy Christmas kit, the collaboration kit that I've done with Natalie from Line.Arrow, um, I've really gotten into the Christmas spirit now. So I've been having a play around at making some Christmas cards because obviously this is now the time when um, I really need to start sending them. Um, and yeah, I picked out these two stamps out of the order that I received because I really like these because it's a nice big scenery. So you almost get an instant card straight away. So um, I had a play around. I just did something very basic to begin with. So I just did some simple ink blending and then stamped my image over the top and then just put a sentiment strip down the bottom. I'm still possibly going to add... Um, either some nouveau drops or something down the bottom just to kind of help do something to that um, strip down there but then in the junk journaling for everyone facebook group there is an event that you can go and check out um, and the event is to kind of challenge yourself to make a junk journal style christmas card so i had to go at that as well um, and this was what i came up with so we've got um, the same deer image uh, but this time I used a book page I put a little bit of gesso over the um, text just to kind of knock it down a little bit uh, so it wasn't quite um, standing out because I didn't want to take away from the image um, and then I stamped my image over the top I roughed around the edges so I tore it up did the same with this kind of green Christmassy paper um, and then stuck it onto my craft um, card base and then using craft card as well um, I cut this sentiment this wasn't from any of the sets this one this is from a different set that I've got um, and then just put some string behind so that's my kind of junk journal style Christmas card now I wanted to have another little play again this time using a different technique still using book page um, but I do want to have a play around with this stamp this time because I absolutely love this one I love the fireplace scene so I want to have a play around with this one since I've done um, the D is quite a lot now. Um, I haven't decided yet which card base, whether I want to use craft card or a green. So we'll kind of see how it turns out first of all. Um, I do have um, some book page again. This book page should come from, as you can see, the lovely story, A Christmas Carol. Uh, this was a very old book and I can tell it is because of the quality of the paper. Like, this is thick. This is almost like cardstock. Um, this page but the book I had was so old it's been falling to pieces um, I've kind of not really wanted to use any of it because it is such an old version of the um, book and the like I say the quality of the pages are gorgeous uh, but it is falling apart so I'm thinking we just need to use it up now and I thought a Christmas Carol page would be brilliant if I've got this stamped over the top so I'm thinking I'm going to stamp this onto there. I'm not going to gesso this time. I'm just going to stamp this over the top of this and then I want to watercolour um, some of the images. So when I stamp it, I'm also going to then heat emboss it just so it's waterproof. And then I'm hoping because this is a nice, thick, sturdy page, it might hold the watercolour a little bit better. Um, I mean, I will try my best not to completely saturate it so it's dripping wet. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that turns out. So the first thing I want to do then is uh, stamp this image onto there and get that heat embossed. So I'm just going to pop the lid on my watercolours for a moment so I can move those out of the way. Let's get rid of these parts. I'm going to grab my stamping platform. Pop in my book page. Now you can see my book page is actually huge in comparison to my stamping platform okay now I was thinking I kind of almost want a Christmas carol poking out over the top of my card so I'm going to have my image coming just below there and that's where I'm going to stamp I think so I'm just lining that up with the the text right that's picked it up on the door and then 
and I've got my VersaFine ink. Okay, so as you've seen, I've just done that three times just to get the um, image nice and dark. So I am going to heat emboss that. I will turn the sound off for that so that you don't hear it because um, obviously the heat gun is very, very loud. Okay, so that's that all um, heat embossed then. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love watching that process. It always just looks like magic to me. So I'm just going to bring in my blue mat just because it's easier then to do the watercolour on. So I have no idea if this is going to work. I just thought it might be a fun way to kind of uh, decorate this. So I'm just going to wet my brush just wet those and I don't necessarily need colour everywhere so I think I'm going to perhaps start with the fire so let's have a look let's have some maybe some deeper colours down at the base of the fire And I am not a watercolourer, so um, there is probably a better way of doing this, but all I'm doing is just mixing some colours, making it slightly lighter as we go up to the top. So that's my fire. Um, then we have the tree. Although actually while I've got red, I think I might do this Christmassy bow up the top. And you don't have to use watercolours. You could use um, alcohol ink pens or any other colouring pen. Works just as well. Like I said, I just thought this might be fun. I've got these watercolours sitting in my stash. I've been meaning to use them, but they just never get used. I'm going to put some red on my candles. So I've got my red candles. Um, and then I'm going to mix a little bit of green. Now the tree is quite dark, obviously, with all of the black ink, but there are areas of white, so I'm just going to kind of brush over where each of the leaves are. And I realise I'm going over some of the decorations as well, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got our tree. Um, what else have we got? Well, we have got greenery along the top of the fireplace as well, so let's get a bit more green back in because we've got all of this here, haven't we? And again, I'm not being particularly precise, as you can see, I'm just kind of messily watercolouring.
Okay, so I've created a bit of a wall again. It doesn't have to be like completely perfect. I'm just going to go around where the edge of the fireplace is. And then after that, just here and there to almost kind of like show a kind of brickwork. And then I'm going to just carry it on in the background again just doing little bits here and there okay I think that'll do so again just giving a little bit of definition as to where the fireplace would be uh, then I think we're just going to do some of the presents. Oh, and of course, actually, the star at the top of the tree. A bit of gold in there. We've got the shining star at the top. Okay, so let's do some of these presents. Let's have... Okay, and then I think, just because the red seems to be standing out so much better, I'm going to just dab some of these baubles with the red. I've got some stars in there as well, haven't I? I've got some baubles. Let's maybe grab some more yellow. So we've got those stars in there. Okay, oh, there's a little star there. Okay, I think that looks good enough. Like I said, it's kind of like a little wash of the watercolour. Now, because it's only a thin layer of watercolour, it won't take very long to dry. Um, and thankfully, because, as I say, this is a stiffer piece of paper, it hasn't warped it too much. You can't even see it coming through on the back. That's how thick this is. So I'm just going to pop this away for a minute. Okay, so you will want to make sure that it's completely dry before you start doing anything to it. I have given it a little blast with my heat gun uh, just to make sure that um, everything is dry. So these were my two card bases and, and I'm thinking I actually quite like the green. So I think because I used craft card last time, I'm going to go with green because I think it just make the Christmas tree and everything pop so I'm just trying to work out how wide I want this so I've got this torn edge so I think I want the same on the other side so I'm just going to kind of tear down and as I say this is really old this so it's tearing super easy but I do just want that kind of rough edge to match the other side But I do also want it fairly even, which is why I'm not just tearing straight down. So let's see. Width-wise. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same along the top. Which means we then want it down the bottom. Okay, so again, just trying to keep it fairly even. I mean, you can see that I was completely wonky, so that's definitely going to have to be torn a little bit more. So we've got that lovely rough edge. So let's get rid of those parts. Okay, so I mean, we could put a sentiment on there. I was thinking maybe a little tag. 
So I have this set, um, it's actually an Alina Craft set um, and you get all of these different uh, tags and you get a little die with it as well. So I thought this would be quite cute. So I'm going for the 4U one. Um, there isn't unfortunately a Christmas one. I mean it's got happy, so we could have happy Christmas but I wasn't quite sure. I was thinking 4U maybe having the little tag down here. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm going to use, um, this was the other side of this page but it's pretty blank so um, just to kind of keep it all together I'm going to actually use this um, as a the page I'm going to cut out just so it kind of all matches a little bit. So I'm just going to stamp this. I do like to stamp a few times just because sometimes they don't um, stamp brilliantly straight away so you sometimes need to do it a couple of times just to make sure you get a good impression. Okay so they're my little tags so I'm just trying to pick which one. I think I'll go for that one and I'll save those two for another project and then as I said I think I'm just going to have this kind of uh, dangling off the edge but I'm just going to go and get some string to put through there. Okay, so I'm going to use some of this um, hemp and I've chosen red only because obviously we've got a green card base and lots of green in the pictures. We've also got pops of red so I thought this will tie in quite nicely. So what I'm going to do is I've cut it long enough so that I can wrap it around. And then we can have this kind of tied to the side. So I'm just going to try and get the string where I want it. Just bring it down slightly. Okay, so it's something like that. making sure that it is in place on the back as well because that bit seems very loose so why is that loose okay so once I am happy I am just going to tie a knot in that part okay then I'm going to put my tag on Now I'm going to tie it as you would a normal tag. So that goes on there and a little bit of a bow. Oops. Like that. Okay, and then you can just fiddle around so you can get the strings exactly where you want them. So I just want them spread ever so slightly like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick this down. So first of all, just making sure that my card base is the right way up. Okay, and there is my card. So for you, a Christmas Carol. I think it you it's quite obvious that it is a Christmas card. You don't necessarily need Merry Christmas on there or Happy Christmas. And then I've got space on the inside uh, to do some writing. Now I may 
where I've got this actually just trim that off and trim this around and then I've got um, a place to write inside so I'm going to do that okay so that's my finished card so we've got the beautiful image on the front I really love that kind of watercolor look I think it looks so so pretty um, and then on the inside again we've just recycled that other book page and popped it in there so you can write so it's a perfect Christmas card a way to use up some of those book pages um, and then yeah add some color to them a fun junk journal style Christmas card as I said, this challenge is going on in the Junk Journaling for Everyone Facebook group. So um, if you have your own sort of Christmas card styles, then um, please head on over, post them in the events because we'd love to be inspired by you as well. Um, so far, these are my two entries. I am going to be having a little play around as well um, and seeing what else I can come up with. But I'm loving using up book pages at the moment. Well, thank you very much for joining me and for BB Craft for sending me the products to try. I've really loved these stamps. I think they um, have a very good impression and are just such beautiful scenes. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and I will see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.